Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from thetarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you want to post a reading, you can get it at thetarotempress.com. So let's begin. Okay, so Virgo, what I see from the cards is an indication that you're very busy during this period of time. It feels as if you're preoccupied with a lot of things that are going on. You could have responsibilities, you could have things that you need to see to when it comes to your life, right? Now with this particular card, it also gives me the impression that for a particular relationship, you know, you've been putting in a lot of energy, a lot of effort, you've been trying your very best to make this work. I feel like you keep coming back to this relationship and you keep trying to look at it from a different angle. You keep trying to see if you've missed something. And that tells me, you know, so much about your nature, right? It's going hand in hand. It shows to me that you've been working tirelessly towards your objectives when it comes to this person. It also shows to me that, you know, that devotion that you had from the very beginning, that hasn't changed, right? So the next thing that I realize about this is the fact that you're still going and nothing and no one can get in the way of your objectives, right? This card that I'm looking at in the overall theme position is showing to me that when it comes to the energy of the situation, it feels different right? Because these two cards are going against each other. But let's clarify them before we jump into the interpretation. First card. This talks about working very hard on a relationship, trying to find a solution. But, you know, it also, it's a sign of wanting to do whatever it takes to work things out. But this particular card tells me that there's a disconnect in your spirituality. It's like you're bringing all of this energy towards resolving a problem, towards fixing a problem in the situation, but you're not really having, you know, that sort of uh, spiritual, spiritual energy that is needed in things, right? Because we are very spiritual beings, you know, we are essentially comprised of energy and we are occupying the physical body, right? So in this sense, when you are a spiritual entity and you're occupying your physical body and you have a disconnect with your spirituality, that's something that really needs to be addressed in the situation. It means that, you know, your objectives, the things that you've been going towards have been eluding you for a reason, right? So something else has been missing there in terms of figuring out a path going forward. You've wanted to be with this individual for some time, but they may have been a little bit cold, a little bit distant. You might have struggled to read them. You might have struggled to understand them and to truly know, you know, what are they thinking? 
You know, what are they feeling? It could be that for some of you, this individual has been hard to reach. The next card is showing to me that here you are bringing your everything into a relationship and making things work. But this particular card is showing to me that uh, when it comes to uh, the plans that you've made, they, not, they have not necessarily worked out in the way that you've wanted them to work out in, right? So that's very, very interesting to me. It means that as hard as you've tried, as much as you've strived towards this, you know, things haven't been working out in the way that you've wanted them to. There may have been communication in the past, but there's definitely, you know, communication that is changing things in the future. Communication that is having an effect to affect the outcome of the situation. So that's very interesting. I feel like you're trying to be analytical, you're trying to be smart in the situation. But there's also, you know, coming back to this energy, it's in reverse year, right? It's in reverse year, but the outcome is in upright position. So when these two cards are challenging each other, you know, one in the overall theme position and one in the outcome position, the interpretation would be giving up, losing hope, feeling as if there's not a chance in the world that things will get resolved, but then perhaps the communication that was done in the past is having an effect on changing these circumstances because this, this is you falling off your horse and this is you getting back onto that horse to fight again. So there's naturally going to be some sort of situation that's going to occur along the way if it has not already occurred in the past because I feel like there was a breakthrough had in this sort of uh, energy framework, right? The past, and it's having an effect upon the future. I hope that makes sense, right? So it feels like you may have said something to this individual and it's having an effect upon their psychology right now. It's having an effect upon how they are interpreting the situation and how they're going to be looking at it. So it could be changing things and you might not even be aware of the fact that you said X, Y, and Z to this person at one point in time or you reached out and you did something that is changing the situation it could be potentially giving you hope, right? It could be giving you that sort of um, desire to look at the situation from a different perspective and to approach it from, uh, you know, the point of view where, yeah, you have a chance, right? So something is going to happen. I do feel like it because I feel like at one point you were losing hope and you were feeling like, no, there's no way, etc. So what you've been challenged by all along is very external in nature, right? This is talking about the end or perhaps the fact that nothing was changing because it was challenging you right and that's why you were losing hope you were losing hope because you felt like it was a hopeless situation and things weren't changing right so this is where you are currently right now and this is what you're dealing with so some of you may have experienced this and i feel like you want to be loved you want to be cherished you want to be adored you want to be cared for going to happen that is going to restore your faith because when I was clarifying this particular card right this one came up and this is in reverse position so a situation that feels like it's over is not really over right you see it's a matter of talking about something between you and this individual I feel like all this time you know there might have been certain things that you were experiencing essentially they were very frustrating in you kept it to yourself you kept your heartbreak and your sadness to yourself but you were feeling frustrated that you were waiting and waiting and waiting and the cards are showing to me that you know this energy is going from having to fight very very hard for what you want to having to loosen your group to a certain extent because there are changes happening in the background of the situation and these are very external in nature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore the balance of these energies on an extended reading. 
You can find the links in the description box below. I'm going to be looking at what's going to be happening in the situation. You know, I'm going to be looking at the energy of the individual you are dealing with, as well as their feelings and what they're going through and how the situation that is changing on an external level for you, how it's going to affect them on an internal level. You can find the link in the description box below. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at thetarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.